In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel between different workbooks and different worksheets within the same workbook. Now, note that this does assume that you have at least a basic understanding of how the VLOOKUP function works. So mainly it's going to show you how to integrate it to search between workbooks and worksheets. So what I have here is I want to be able to enter a unique employee number in this cell and I want to get the employee's full name here. Now I also have an example which is going to show you how to get the first name and the last name depending on how your data is organized. So I want to get it first from a separate workbook that's organized like this. So what I have here is an employee number with a first name and a last name. But then I have the exact same data with the employee number and the first and last name in the same cell. So I'm going to show you how to use the VLOOKUP to find this information from this sheet. Additionally, I'm going to show you how to get that same information from a separate worksheet on the same workbook. So let's go ahead and start. Now note that I'm using only employee names, but you can use a multitude of different information. So you could have location, salary, benefits, health. You could have a bunch of different stuff underneath here. It's the same premise, same formula. So let's go ahead and get the employee's name in here. And I want to get the full name for this cell. So all I'm going to do is equal V lookup, open parentheses. My lookup value will be the cell for the employee number. And now my table array is going to be a table on the other work book. So how you do this is make sure that you have both Excel files open at the same time, but only one Excel window. So now to select your table array, go to Window and select the workbook that you want to get the information from with VLOOKUP and click it. Then select your table array. So I'm going to go ahead and select this table here. Now note, even though I'm on the separate workbook, in my formula bar here, this is the formula that I was working with before. So I just highlight my table array and act like I'm still on the other sheet. So comma, now my column index number is going to be 2 for the VLOOKUP, so I can get the name. And for range lookup, I'm going to do false because I want the numbers to be exact. So close parentheses and hit enter. And now it's linked to the other workbook. So let me get an employee number in here. And notice it pulls in the employee's first and last name in this cell here. So all I did there was combine the VLOOKUP function with how to get data between separate workbooks. And now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing for the first and the last name equals VLOOKUP open parentheses lookup value, the employee number, the table array, I'm going to go up to window, select the workbook where I want to get the information. Now I'm going to select this table array over here, comma, and I want to get the first name in the first cell, so I'm going to do a column index number of two, comma, my range lookup will be false close parentheses. So I get the first name there, last name, same thing, equals V lookup, lookup value, employee number, table array, window, choose the workbook, select the table array, my column index number here will be 3, range lookup still false, close parentheses, enter. And so that's how you can use the VLOOKUP to pull in the name. So I pulled in one cell here or two cells here. Now that's a very easy way to at least work with names pulling them from a separate workbook. Where it becomes a little bit more difficult but not too hard is if you want to pull in say you have your data like this and you want to pull in the first name, the last name, or the middle name or initial from one of these cells. There are a couple different ways you can do that but I'm not going to show you in this tutorial um, I'll show you that in a later tutorial. So now let me just open up this formula and show you what it looks like. The only difference here between a regular VLOOKUP 
is this reference where it's going to give you the name of the other Excel workbook and the sheet within that workbook. Everything else is pretty much just the same. Now if I want to do the same thing for a different worksheet in the workbook, everything's the same equals V, lookup, open parentheses, lookup value, employee number. Now for a table array, all I do is click the sheet with the data on it that I want, highlight that data, comma, column index number of two, range lookup, false, enter and it gives me the data from the other sheet. Now if you look at this formula, the only extra thing is the reference for the other sheet, so sheet to exclamation point. So that's how you can use the VLOOKUP to get data between separate workbooks in Excel and also separate worksheets. Now, the one last thing is to note, now that you have the function like this, you do not need to have the other workbook open in order to use it. So that can really help you. And if you want to get this file, just go to teachexcel.com and navigate to this tutorial and you can download this same Excel file that you see here.